could swap them out. No, been there, done that. Down near lost me eyebrows. Think, Coco, think! We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think! Yes, that does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean, Master Force, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? The schedule remains unchanged, for better or worse. Which is why the Forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the Ether Burner conundrum. <laughs> Not seen you lot down here before. There are Archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the Forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface, by whatever means you see fit. I assure you that won't be necessary. Now, about your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. As the name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. Even out in that black void where the ether's right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. <sighs> but it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hast thou consulted with the Loperids? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The Moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. Yes, exactly! Damn it all, oh, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You're trying to drive me mad. Do you speak of elegant refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of elegant make, but the secrets of its production were closely guarded. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of Aoife come rushing through. I ain't a living soul that knows how to make it though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the Aoife burner just a wee bit, mind from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the Calamity. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we tried, believe you me but only a few specialised pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards, and the defences are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. It's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Oh, 
very funny. Ha ha. Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously... Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's wood. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days. So I will lead the Twelvesford expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the Lesser Moon scar our soil, but our stake in this cause is no less for it. Is there anything in Othard that might be of use to you? Othard, you say? Oh, you got friends in far places, lad. Anyway, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Combine a source like that with the ether burner, and three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping this plunder for the taking? And I'm a born plunderer. I'll be an old Charlian before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all, and do be careful. Just like that. Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done.
course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Alagan make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the Sultan Sworn and Brass Blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of Master Artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Fear guys, we have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. As commander of the Stone Torches, my son Zimberg will personally see it done. Pippin, I would have you lead the raiding party. Assemble your finest and with Tizona's blade clear the way. Lord Lollorito, I pray you take charge of the search for Alagon relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I ask not that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. The final days descend upon our world. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Aeorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. Uldar will answer that call. We will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of Ul, bid you good luck and good speed. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defences. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steel ourselves for a protracted engagement. In that case, might I suggest taking us along? Commander Hext, what are you doing here? None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the Scions assigned to the Shroud. I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together.
Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. Come, let us speak of how to integrate our forces. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalimo. We've no time to waste, brother. Everyone has already... Ah. So, in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the Divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. Mm hmm? Is that...? Hancock? What a surprise this is. And a fortuitous one at that. I have a favor to ask, you see. <laughs> 